You know, when I look out on the river, I see its uh, power and I see its potential. This is our biggest natural resource that we have in Louisiana. Everything that we have in our house, from the clothes we wear to our sunglasses on our heads, comes on containers. As these vessels get larger, that you have to have deep water, but also that you have to have a facility that doesn't have any air draft restrictions. And what that simply means is that you don't have any bridges in your way for these large vessels to get under. In between this terminal here in New Orleans and a second terminal, Louisiana can handle all size of vessels. So that's why we're planning ahead with an investment in looking at a second facility, the Louisiana International Terminal in St. Bernard Parish. The Port of New Orleans is responsible for over 21,000 jobs in the New Orleans region. I anticipate that our workforce is going to expand anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of what we currently are. The job pays exceptional wages and there are phenomenal benefits that we have. I've been out here in excess of 20 some years. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be any other place at this point. I'm supporting the port because they're going to bring jobs to my community. If they're going to bring the job and they're going to do better things for my community like schools, parks, if you could put it in a community where it's going to be safe for our kids. My kid going to be going there three years. If they take care of that, I won't have a problem with the board. The last thing we wanted to do was come in and say this is where a school or a ballpark should be located. So working with the local community to look at how can this project be a benefit. The tax base and the dollars that are created can go back into the community so that there's a benefit. And this is a project that not only works for the terminal and for the overall project, but also it's a benefit for the quality of life and the way of life for the community in St. Bernard. We do need increased infrastructure. We do need more roads in order for us to facilitate, you know, the amount of traffic, the amount of containers that are gonna be on and off these ships. A project like this can bring a lot of federal and state partners to the table to bring more transportation dollars to make sure that there's more infrastructure, like a dedicated truck route into St. Bernard Parish. And that's infrastructure that St. Bernard Parish really can benefit from. People do not understand that if we lose the container terminal, it would put us decades behind every other port in the country. They're, everyone's moving forward on similar terminals like this, and if we don't do this now, we may lose out on a major economic benefit for decades to come. We are at a critical point, and it is imperative that the state make these investments. St. Bernard hasn't had any significant investment in a very long time, and this is going to be one to two billion dollars of investment in our backyard. Once you develop an international container terminal in this parish, then this parish becomes the golden boy. It becomes an asset that the state has to protect.